Hi, this is Sean Doobie, Technical Director for Windows IT Pro. This video is on data deduplication in Windows Server 2012, specifically how to install it on your system and then how to enable and configure it. Disk deduplication is an essential storage technology that, given the explosion of data growth that we're all experiencing, really should be something that everybody pays attention to. And in Windows Server 2012, it's very easy to set up and enable. The premise behind disk deduplication is simple. Much of the data that is stored in a volume is duplicate to other data. Instead of simply holding all of that duplicate data uh, on a volume, why not just replace the duplicate data blocks with pointers to um, the original data blocks or a single set of data blocks on the volume, thus saving space. The savings involved in disk deduplication depends, of course, on what kind of data is on the volume. The most significant kinds of uh, savings can be where, obviously, you have large amounts of duplicate data on the volume. So, say, for example, um, virtual machine disks. Uh, a typical virtual machine disk certainly has an operating system. If you're running uh, the same Windows operating system on that virtual disk, there's going to be a lot of duplicate code, including applications and other um, standard pieces of software that you might have on there. So there's a high degree of uh, duplication there. Other types of shares, such as software distribution shares, personal file shares, it uh, will vary uh, quite a bit depending on um, what kind of data you have and Microsoft has uh, lots of recommendations for that really designed um, for uh, many different kinds of data and it's becoming more and more uh, transparent to enable it. Disk deduplication is designed to run in the background and not interfere with the performance of the system so you don't the idea is that you can turn it on and once you've selected the volumes and then just not worry about it. First, let's take a look at the environment and choose a server and a volume to enable disk duplication on. In this particular environment, I have two servers and one of these contains a large file share, this uh, particular server called Hanshi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File and Storage Services and choose Volumes. And you can see that this particular volume, VMs and Data, is quite large, it's almost two terabytes in size, and it's 89% use, and it's starting to fill up. This is actually a very good candidate for disk deduplication. So the first thing that I'm going to do is install the disk deduplication feature on this server. There are a couple of ways I can do this. I can go up to Manage, Add Roles and Features uh, from this menu item, and then pick the server I want, or I can go over to All Servers, right-click on the server name itself, and say Add Roles and Features. Step through it, you see it's pre-selected hanshi.dubi.net. And here we have Server Roles, and what we're going to do is we're going to drill down into File and Storage Services, File and iSCSI Services, and down inside that we have Data Deduplication. Choose Next. We're not going to install any extra features. Uh, we will say restart the destination server automatically if required. I happen to know that dedupe does not require that. And we'll hit install. So we're going to let this feature installation run. And it will magically complete itself so we don't have to sit here in the video and watch it. 